we will introduce Theorem 2.1 from the textbook, which is a useful and probably not something you've seen before in your calculus course. The theorem is given here. It begins with a continuous function of two variables and then examines the integral of f with respect to one of its variables, y. The main aspect of the theorem involves what happens when we take the derivative of this integral with respect to the other variable of f. The theorem states that the derivative of the integral is the same as the integral of the derivative. That is, we can take the derivative and bring it inside of the integral as long as f is continuous and differentiable. Note that this has nothing to do with the fundamental theorem of calculus, since we are differentiating and integrating with respect to two different variables. However, this is a good time to remind ourselves of the fundamental theorem of calculus and how it applies when we're dealing with functions of two variables or more. First, let's look at the integral of a derivative. If we integrate the derivative of a function, both integrate and differentiate with respect to the same variable, as is being done here, what we obtain is fundamental theorem of calculus. We replace the x with b minus replacing the x with a. Note that what we have here is now a function of one variable only. It is not a constant as it was in Calc 1, but now a function of y. Next, let's examine what happens when we take the derivative of an integral. Of course, now we have multiple variables, so we're looking at partial derivatives. If we take the partial derivative with respect to y of the integral from a to y of a function u x comma s, where s is a dummy variable of integration. We again look at our fundamental theorem of calculus and the derivative of an integral where the bound is y. We take the dummy variable of integration and replace it with the y. So the derivative of the integral, both with respect to y, gives us the function u x comma y. 